Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasha Allah, Koholimla, Yahweh Bashimia Wishai, Bahashim Rakaha Kadash. Double honors to our apostles, to our elders of Great Millstone, who do rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akiam, Aqua. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashimia Wishai to the best of your ability. Jacques Nana Wap just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And. The true name of the father is Yahweh in the Bible. They call him the Most High. They call him a few different names, but his name is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. He is to be the one that created this earth that we're on, <laughs> you know, and the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. Those are the true names of the father and son of the Bible. It's not no Jehovah and it's not no um, Jesus. But the letter J was invented in 1524, about 500 years ago. So if the Lord walked the earth 2,000 years ago, of course, we know that those couldn't be the names. But you have these Christians that just don't seem to care. And then the so-called white man, he gave you his version of him being God. The so-called white man. We call him so-called because they're actually pinkish to reddish in color. And you're going to see this in this video. Now, this is Mitch McConnell. The situation that happened yesterday with him freezing up as if he saw a damn ghost. And you know, that was your how about Shimmy? I was shy. He probably, seen, he probably was seeing an apparition, man. <laughs> you know the scripture talks about um, um, In Egypt they were seeing things Well let's get some of this Now I wish I had got this one Where there's an angle Where somebody is shooting a video from the right Because you know all the news coverage is on this All those news stations was there This is all that, that, that This guy hit every single news station in the world yesterday With this stupidity right here But it was nothing he could do about it Because the Lord Man's goings of the Lord first off He was there you know this guy, and he didn't. He didn't fail a few times. This motherfucker done broke. I think his shoulder, shoulder, broke his shoulder, and had concussions. He's he just old oh, man. He don't want to give up the ghost. And, and these people are, are the ones that are over you, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans making decisions, man. They're they're writing. They're writing fucking laws and can't even. They can barely walk. They can't even. They can barely think, man. But you, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you, you'll get to talking about how free you are. You're not free here, man. You have them senile people over you, man. But let's get the video. Uh, this week has been good bipartisan cooperation and a string of... Uh, The Lord had him zoned out seeing something. <laughs> and like I said again, we say we call them so called white because they're actually pinkish to reddish in color. Look at all of them. All of them are pretty much the, the color of this man's red tie to the color of this woman's pink jacket. They're not white people, man. Nobody looks like a glass of milk. That is a social construct that was made up by the so called white man. And there's no such thing as black people. There are different shades of brown people on the planet, and there are different shades of red people on the planet. So that white and black stuff, man, with the, those are not ethnicities. Those are not nationalities. And what the Lord is doing, he's starting to wake up the children of Israel, the nation of Israel, because there are 18 biblical nations, basically, on, in, in the scriptures. All the people on the planet came from um, Noah's three sons, Shem, Ham, Japheth. And we come from Shem. We're not Hamites. We didn't come from Ham. We're not Africans. The Africans came from Ham. You can actually find that in the Bible dictionary. It tells you that um, the Negroes are not the same as the uh, the the, um, the the basically the Egyptians. We're not the same people. Everybody with melanin are not the same people. But see, it's people like this that have been in control of the planet, and they're able to write the narrative and tell you what's what, give you what's what, put it in the textbooks and push it on your children in school. You see. Just like these guys that's down here in Florida, they just trying to basically all throughout the Americas, they trying to write out slavery out of their textbooks and history books. They don't want you, Jake, to know that you 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 know the brutality of the shit that they done to us. They want us to just think that we came here on our own and, and we you know you know just indentured servants of some stupid shit. But no, there was a brutality of what they done to us, man, and they're gonna pay for it. 
And this is a part of it. You're starting to see America fall flat on his damn face, man. Because like I said, let me get this one scripture real quick. I was already there on this one. Let me come back to that though. It really is, you know, there's nothing that this man can do about being where he's at. You know, this just is his lot. Because the Lord is running things. But the Lord is making America look real stupid, man. Real stupid on, on a national level. I mean, on a global level. Because these countries are laughing at America. Um, Proverbs 20 and 24 says, Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? So... You know, they're trying to blame it on, him, on, on on some of the falls that he's had. He's had concussions. You know, at 80 years old and you done fell a few times, you know, how you, you know, I'm not saying that you can't be 80 and still be sharp. I mean, that was in the ancient days. You know what I'm saying? Because, we, you know, we, we lived longer. We had better, you know, water, better food, better air quality, better all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? And these days, it's just... Uh, so-called white man being in power man everything is shut you know but the lord he gave us a limit as to basically um that this man should be dead but the lord didn't allow this man to live past the, the the allotted years that he actually gave to man and really he only gave us like 120 years but he dropped that i think to about 75 80 years roughly paraphrasing where we you know because we used to live a lot longer but this man is well you, hey the so-called black man is rarely making it to this age because we you know we just go into the workforce we work see a person like this he's been laid up eating the best of food drinking the best of water though he's still you know vulnerable to the same things that we're vulnerable to you know but he just had you know a lot of these so-called white people they be in these positions they have it better they can live a little bit longer they have the best of health care they can go to the you know doctors and and and, and you know and get treatments and you know, Jake just in the hood, man. We just kind of just go for stuff and, and, and just walk on throughout life, man, until Jake don't go to the hospital <laughs> or to no doctor, man, until it's, it's absolutely detrimental damn near, man. But anyway, the scripture says that man's going is of the Lord. So him being here, just like this here, looking stupid as hell, that was the Lord. That was the Lord. Let's back it up. This guy stood there with a, with looking doofy as hell. For about 30 damn seconds straight and, and and i wish i had that camera angle because somebody you know one of the news stations caught it from the right and they was angled it towards the left and that lady that's in the green suit that you see walk up you can see her in the very first screen she was the one that caught it first and the look on her face was like oh wow what the hell is it and you know she kind of trying to quietly tap that's when you start to see those men come up she saw it first because those men were standing behind him. They couldn't see his facial expression. They couldn't see how doofy he was looking. They wasn't paying attention. They was kind of chatting in the background. But anyway, let's get this again. I like that. I want to get the lady. See this lady right here in the green? String of uh... See right there in the green too? She saw it. She saw it first. See, these are your American leaders. These are the people that, that make decisions on a day-to-day -day basis, man, that's in control of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans' lives, man. That's why, let me get this scripture right here, too. This is why we need to just pull away. Coming into this truth is the best thing, man, that could have ever happened to me. That's the way I look at it, for real, for real. Coming into this, the knowledge of this truth, coming into knowing that the true name of our Father is Yahweh, that he's our power, that he, he created us and made a covenant with us coming out of Egypt and that we're a special people to him and that he chose us. That's powerful, man. Gave us the true name of his son, Yahweh Shai, where we can come to him and repent. Knowing, and gave us the, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that the so-called white man is not our God. Our God doesn't look like a blonde-haired, blue-eyed white guy. Man, that's a lot. That goes a, lo a long ways. And see, Esau is starting to lose the, the, the narrative, man. But we have to uh, come out of this place. This is Micah 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. 
and shall destroy you even with the sword of destruction. See, the Lord is making this place nosedive. It's falling. It's circling the toilet. And what you, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have to do is get away from it before you circle the damn toilet with it. Come out of this place, man. And how you come out of this place is, is repentance. That's why we go into, um, let's get that Romans. Romans 13. It's time to come out of those works of darkness, man. So like, yeah. Start at verse 11, it says, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. See? So let's go back to this, this Micah 2 and 10. It's, it's telling you straight up what to do, man. Got to come out of those works of darkness. Because America will sorely destroy you. This place is through. And there's a lot of people that's running around out here. It's a lot of young so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans running around out here worse than this guy. And they ain't even 40 years old. Some of them not even 30. Some of them not even in their 20s. Running around out here bugged all out, man, mumbling and shit. Because this place will destroy you. Micah 2 and 10, it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. You have to come out of the mindset of this place. Stop with the, stop with the thinking of, 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 of American values. Get out of the Western way of thinking. Come back into these scriptures. Because we have a culture that's beautiful, man. And we're just waiting, you know, on our Lord to come back so we can, you know, go completely into the kingdom, man. You know, get our new bodies, be running a righteous kingdom so we can put people like this in subjection. They will never be writing no more rules. They will never be writing no more regulations. They will never be in control of a judging system. They will never be in control of a prison system ever again, man. Able to pull up, snatch, snatch you out the car, throw you over the hood, beat the hell out of you. You know, they would never be in control of a curriculum that they get that they can by law push on our children or, or otherwise take our children from us forcibly with their damn um, police, military and whatever else force that they need to use to get them. See, they're in control of us. You see what I'm saying? And let me get this. This is Ecclesiasticus 25 and 7, also known as the Book of Sirach. It says, there be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and a tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what we're witnessing, man. We're watching the fall of our enemies. Here you go on national TV where they have the internet, where everybody all over the world can see you looking doofy. How many times has Joe Biden fallen since he's been president? People got clips of him, memes of him, <laughs> just, you know, and, and he be fumbling all over the place, too, when he be talking. I've never seen him to this extent, though, but he's definitely he needs to, you know, and he's talking about running for another four years. And now, guess what? He didn't gave you, you Negroes an Emmett Till monument. And that's the only time they really give you Jake something. They give throw you a little bone and then then because then, they, they, they know that election time is coming back around again. They need those votes. They need those folks. And Jake not going to, Jake don't be thinking, man. This man has pulled all kinds of enchantments and sorcery on our people. Got them thinking that, you know, uh, if you vote this way, everything is going to get better for you. In the meanwhile, you still out here marching, asking for rights. But guess who's winning? The LGBTQ. They're marching along with you, but they're, they done marched all past you. They didn't get, they getting all kinds of rights. Everything that they're asking for is going for it. You know, like it's nothing. Here you go. You Jake been begging 100 years. Getting no results. It's getting actually worse. You see what I'm saying? So I didn't want to keep this long, but this right here, man, is a beautiful thing. This is a beautiful thing, man. The Lord got you. As a matter of fact, there was another scripture. Kind of reminded me of this one. The wise men of Teman. Like that.
I'm trying to think how it was worded. It's lucky. It ain't just Obadiah 1 and 9. You know Obadiah is dedicated to you so-called white people. It says, And thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of, the, of Mount of every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. It's another one too, though. Let me see. It's not the one that I wanted. Put it in. Yeah, man, but Esau kingdom is falling, man. Falling. We love it. I think that's the one right here. Jeremiah 49 and 7. Concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, is wisdom no more in teeming? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? <laughs> Perfect, man. Is their wisdom vanished? Because the Lord is breaking these people down, man. See, before, it used to be, look at us, our science, this, 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 and this. And now the world is starting to, starting to look like, okay, nah, you know, everything that they create is fucking destructive. Everything they make is destructive. I be jumping on the freeway, I, you know, and, and every time I get on there, I just think about how stupid it was for whoever put together a goddamn highway, a freeway, you know, just some of these roads in general. Here you go. You got it set up basically like a, a goddamn cage, man. Barney Rubble and Fred, Fred Flintstone out this motherfucker. People out here doing 80, 90 miles an hour right next to each other, all with a different mindset. Motherfuckers texting, motherfuckers on, you know, um, trying to, you know, put on makeup. Motherfuckers is, the kids is kicking and screaming. And it's all types of shit with 18 wheelers, big ass cement trucks, <laughs> big ass, um, 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 construction equipment being moved, all moving at 80 miles an hour. All it takes is one little mishap and your ass is through on there. Cars flipping, 20, 20 30 car pile up. And this is all because this man said, hey, we're going to put together some freeways and we're going to make everything more convenient. It's, it's going to be quicker to get around. OK, yeah, that might be the case. But look at the end results. Think about how many people have died on, on just, in just car accidents alone, man, on, these, on this man's freeways. We ain't even talking about um, um, his GMO food, his, his quick, fast food, making it convenient where you can get something quick. Because, see, that's Esau eating with that, that mentality of, 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 that's that, that's the reason why he sold his birthright. Motherfucker couldn't wait for the food to get ready. He could have easily went and had, I mean, shit, he could have grabbed some fruit. I'm sure it was something that he could have ate until, you know, maybe, you know, a meal was put together. You see? And that, that, that's what makes Esau prof profane, man. He's profane. Matter of fact, let's get that scripture. Profane is Esau, man. And this is the man that can stand in front of a damn camera with a suit and tie on and try and make it seem and, and try and tell the world how righteous he is. But in the backdrop, everybody can see that <laughs> what you're saying is not true. You're doing the exact opposite. That's that's that, that fourth tongue, man. That double speak. Hebrews 12 and 16, it says, lest there be any fornicator, see, or prof profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. This is the man that's running the world right now. This is the man that's running the world. You know how important a, a birthright was back then? It may not, <laughs> may not seem like that nothing of importance today because, you know, Jake not leaving, you know, Jake not leaving no inheritances, man. Jake not being left with nothing but some bills and a problem, man, when they, somebody dies. But generally, when your father passed away, you know, in the ancient days, you would be the, the one next in line to receive everything that he had, basically, or at least the majority of it. Here you go, this man, he, you know, he just was like, oh, fuck that birthright, man. What is that birthright to me, man? I'm hungry. Give me some of that food real quick. And Jacob got him, man. Jacob supplanted his ass. Now, this is why he's so mad. He's out here trying to get that birthright back. And it's not going to work. 
But see, you, Jake, got to wake up, man, because he's going hard body for it. The scripture says he know that he has but a short time. And this is this, <laughs> when you see them acting like this, you know they ain't got nothing but a short time. Look at this dude, man. This shit is retarded, man. He's getting paid. You know, tell him how much his 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 self his net worth is, man, from being there for so damn long, not getting nothing done, just there. But anyway, I, I'm not, I don't even need to play it back, man. But this is the fall of America. We get to see it up close and personal. I be having people in the comment boards. Well, if you don't like America, why don't you just go and leave and you can go here to go back to Africa? I'm like, no, nah, I'm gonna keep these courtside seats. I'm going to keep these courtside seats right here to this game of America falling. So with that, hey, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame, inshallah.